the array list class. An array list is a complex data structure that allows you to add or remove objects from a list and it changes size automatically. The array list class is part of the java.util package of the Java standard class library. It works like an array in that it can store a list of values and reference them by an index. But an array remains a fixed size throughout its existence and an array list object grows and shrinks as needed. An array list is an object of the array list class. Therefore, to create an array list, you need to use the keyword new along with the constructor from the array list class. You also need to know the data type of the objects that will be stored in the list. The array list class is a part of the java.util package. It must be imported. Like an array, it can store a list of values and reference them with an index. Unlike an array, an array object, an array list object grows and shrinks as needed. Items can be inserted or removed with a single method invocation. It stores references to the object class, which allows it to store any kind of object. Let's look at an example. The Destiny's Child program shown here instantiates an array list called band. The method add is used to add several string objects to the array list in a particular order. Then one string is deleted and another is inserted at a particular index. As with any other object, the toString method of the array class is automatically called when it is sent to the print line method. Note that when an element from an array list is deleted, the rest of the elements collapse so that there are no holes in the list. Likewise, when an element is inserted, the list expands. If you need more time to study the code, please pause this video. Declaring an array list object. Two general forms of declaring an array list are or The array list uses a pair of angle brackets to enclose the class name of the object it will store. An array list always starts out empty. When you create an array list object, it is empty, meaning that there is no item in the list. It's like when your mom starts to make a to-do list and she writes the words to-do on the top of a piece of paper. The list is created, but there's nothing in the list. The array list is resizable. When your mom writes, go grocery shopping, or buy awesome video game for a favorite child on her to-do list, the size of the list grows. As she completes a task on the list, she crosses it out, and the size of the list shrinks. That is exactly how an array list is resized. Specifying an array list element type. Array list is a generic type, which allows us to specify the type of data each array list should hold. For example, array list family holds family objects. Let's look at another example. This is recipe.java. The recipe program declares an array list string. It stores and prints a list of ingredients for a recipe. The elements are added with the dot add method. The list iterator method of array list returns a list iterator object that can be used to iterate through the items in the list. Once the iterator is obtained from the array list, the has next and next methods are used to loop through each of the elements in the list. We could have also used a for loop here. If you need more time to study the code, please pause the video. Array list efficiency. The array list class is implemented using an array. The code of the array list class automatically expands the array's capacity to accommodate additional elements. The array is manipulated so that indexes remain continuous as elements are added or removed. 
If elements are added to and removed from the end of the list, this processing is fairly efficient. If elements are inserted and removed from the middle of the list, the elements are constantly being shifted around.